Hey everyone, uh, we're going to do another tank test today. Uh, we're going to do three different jigs. The first one we're going to do is my dragon tail jig. This is something, this is one of those ones that uh, was on the back burner for a long time and I got a request for it so we're going to do that before I forget about it again. And this is going to be one of those ones, it's rabbit hair and a dragon tail. So it's very light, even though it's an eighth ounce head. And this is a primarily going to be swung, uh, you'd be swimming it along the bottom, and occasional hops. As you can see, you get a lot of action and um, between the rabbit hair and the dragon tail along with those medium centipede legs uh, you get a fair amount of movement and it stands up it's one of those things that uh, when you're fishing these small jigs whatever you can do to make it stand out a little bit really helps I tend to fish this in a little bit warmer water um, that's how it's been 55 to 65 degrees seems to be optimum for this So that is our dragon tail jig. The next up is going to be one that we did just a little bit ago. And that's going to be our uh, margined mad tom. You can see this the small profile very streamlined this is really deadly along the bottom also swum if you swim it just a little bit why am I saying swum all the time <laughs> uh, if you swim it just above the bottom you get a, a nice amount of action and a lot of it's due to that arctic foxtail and when you have good quality feathers, you can see what you get out of it. This jig is all pretty much about the profile, but it does have really nice action. I, I can't tell you how many fish I've caught just swimming it back, uh, make an errant cast, or when I thought I was out of the strike zone, just start bringing it back and... Uh, Next thing you know, you have one on. Really nice profile, uh, uh, a good fish catcher. And last one for today is going to be the one we just did, which is the field hopper. And you can see that profile along with that slower fall. It's an abstract version of a, uh, a grasshopper. I tried to get blend the colors and give it some material that will actually give it a slower fall while letting me use a little bit larger jig head like an 8 ounce or even a 3 16 that's what you do you want to blend these colors you get the colors the right way and you get the bulk of the jig right and you can mimic anything you want like I said I, I kind of try to get uh, something with a grasshopper type profile that would fall a little slower uh, and again this is I imagine it would work good all year but right now with these grasshoppers starting to come out in the next couple of weeks it's going to be really on um, anywhere you have grass next to the bank you throw it there and just let that fall down uh, there will be fish there a good river smallmouth pattern uh, anywhere like I said you have a grassy bank this will work 
And there you have it. That's all we have uh, for today. We'll do more tank tests in the future. Thanks for watching.